Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ames and we're watching Black Hawk Down. All I know is this is a war movie. I have no idea like what part of war. It has Josh Hartnett in it. He is and was the late 90s, early 2000s heartthrob of my generation. I am so happy to have you here. So let's watch this thing. Rotate. Oh, I just get anxiety and I can't breathe as soon as I start some of these movies sometimes. Based on an actual event. Only the dead have seen the end of war. Be the Greek philosopher, Plato. Can't remember. Oh yeah, this is already starting off so bleak. Somalia, East Africa, 1992. Years of warfare among rival clans cause famine on a biblical scale. 300,000 civilians die of starvation. Oh my God. Mohammed Farad Adid, the most powerful of the warlords, rules the capital, Mogadishu. He seizes international food shipments at the ports. Hunger is his weapon. Oh my God. The world responds behind a force of 20,000 US Marines. Food is delivered and order is restored. Oh my God. The children. <laughs> April 1993, Hadid waits until the Marines withdraw and then declares war on the remaining UN peacekeepers. Oh, those poor people. It's like a genocide. In June, Hadid's Milita ambush and slaughter 24 Pakistani soldiers and begin targeting American personnel. Oh my god. In late August, America's elite soldiers, Delta Force, Army Rangers, and the 160th SOAR are sent to Mogadishu to remove a deed and restore order. Okay, so this is like an op crew going in for a mission. The mission was to take three weeks, but six weeks later, Washington was growing impatient. Oh... Oh, so they're already there. Black Hawk Down. Oh my gosh, you guys, the intro, I'm already like destroyed. Oh, Saturday, October 2nd, 1993. I was like a baby. Rod Cross Food Distribution Center. All the people trying to get food. Oh, people must be so hungry. And then. It's just like civil war. Like people are just trying to fend for themselves. Oh shit, did you see that, Chief? We got unarmed civilians getting shot down here. I don't think we can touch this. Oh no. Muhammad Farah is this. We got militia shooting unarmed civilians. Request permission to engage. Cannot intervene, return to base. Okay, they can intervene on this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Mogadishu Bakara Market, a deed controlled territory. Eric Banna, the Hulk. Leave it. All right, so they're following this guy. Are they gonna get him? Intercept here? Oh, there are the choppers. General Garrison, these are Cuban. Katanga, aka Kingsley. Eh? Eh? See, not catching a deed is becoming a routine. We weren't trying to catch a deed, we were trying to catch you. Me? What is this? Gunfight at the Keo Corral. <laughs> okay, Corral. Okay, Corral. <laughs> yeah. We're not leaving Somalia until we find it, and we will find it. Don't make the mistake of thinking because I grew up without running water, I am simple, General. A tomorrow without a lot of Arkansas white boys' ideas. And... Well, I wouldn't know about that. I'm from Texas. <laughs> I think you shouldn't have come here. This is our war. 300,000 dead and counting. That's not a war, Mr. Ito. That's genocide. Yeah. Take some time, but I need to feel the loss. I'm not sure time is something we got in great supply. Well, tell them the situation is fragile. Mogadishu Airport, U.S. Army Headquarters. It's a non-smoking Black Hawk helicopter. He'll be earning 100 per credit this afternoon. And as always, the air sickness bags are located in the seat back in front. <laughs> oh man, there's so many great actors in this. I've never seen Entourage, if that's the guy from Entourage. I love the camaraderie of these men. And I love their humor. Limo is a word in common usage. That is the key phrase in Scrabble, my good friend. Not in the dictionary. It doesn't count. Orlando Bloom. You touch my limo and I'll spank you, Night Stalker. You hear me? Yeah. And Blackburn.
Literally everybody is in this movie. You in. Firstly, it's the Moog, or simply Moog. No one calls it Moog at issue here. Secondly, I wouldn't know about the fighting, so don't ask. Why not? Didn't I just say don't ask? <laughs> I have a rare and mysterious skill that precludes me from going on the missions. Type. <laughs> Can you type? No. <laughs> Who, 27, 75? That's pretty young. Well, I'm here to kick some ass. Class, man, very slow. Single shot through the engine block. Now, that's a shame that was a nice Jeep. Jamie Lannister? Private First Class Blackbird. Yeah? Reporting for duty. Not to me, you're not. You're reporting to Lieutenant Beals. Can I leave him with you? <laughs> Does he have to babysit him? Want me to shoot? I'm rested. Keener. Yeah, hey, who's hungry? <laughs> no. Another taxpayer funded Delta Safari? Not if General Garrison's asking. Oh, I'm in. Have a nice meal, Captain. Hey, man, there's a line. I know. What's going on here? Target practice, sir. Talking about your weapon. Your safety should be on at all times. Well, that's my safety, sir. Let it go, sir. The guy hasn't eaten in a couple of days. You Delta boys are a bunch of undisciplined cowboys. Captain Mike? We get on the five yard line. You're going to need my Rangers. So you all better learn to be team players. You say this is your safety? Well, this is my boot, son. I don't want to see him on you again. Huh? <laughs> Pretty funny, huh? Yeah. Good impression. I recognize myself. Because <laughs> if I ever see you undermining again, you'll be cleaning the trains with your tongue, so you can't taste the difference between shit and french fries. We'll be clear. Who, oh, sir? The latrines! Always threatened with cleaning the latrines. Sergeant Evans, when you really like the skinny. It's not that I like him or I don't like him, I respect him. We, we have two things that we can do. We can either help or we can sit back and watch country destroy itself on CNN. Hmm. I don't know about you guys, but I was trained to fight. Well, I think I was trained to make a difference, Kurt. Oh. Everyone has their own reasoning of why they're there, you know? <gasps> oh my God, what's happening? 5.45 a.m., Sunday, October 3rd. Where is this guy hiding? A really beautiful spot to pray. <gasps> oh my gosh. He's out of the game. He's epileptic going home. Yeah, he can't stay there. I'm putting you in charge of his chalk. Your men are gonna look to you to make the right decisions. Their lives depend on it. Oh, wow. Rangers lead the way, sir. All the way. The Rangers. Oh my gosh. Paul Loadig Road, Bacarda Market. Yes, like shit happens. People have to go home. You get promoted. Like that's just the army, you know? The long-anticipated meeting of the Deed's senior cabinet may take place today at 1500 hours. With the intel we get on the street, nothing is certain. Omar Salad. Okay, so we just saw that guy walk in. And Abdi Hassan Awali. Today we go. Delta will infiltrate the target building and seize all suspects within. Security Force Rangers. Four Ranger chocks rope in at 1546 and hold a four-corner perimeter around the target building. No one gets in or out. Lieutenant Colonel McKnight's Humvee column, we're driving to the city, McKnight's column, will move to the target building, load the prisoners on flatbed trucks. Four Ranger chalks load up on Humvees, and the entire ground force will exit three miles back to base. Mission time from incursion to extraction no longer than 30 minutes. 30 minutes? I had requested light armor, but Washington, in all its wisdom, decided against this. <laughs> Too high profile. <gasps> The Blackhawks and Little Birds would provide the air cover with miniguns and 275 rockets. The planning. The planning. Mission launch code word is Irene. Which building is it, sir? Somewhere around the Bacara Market. I don't choose the time and place of their meetings. I didn't say words, sir. Once you're in the Bacara Market, you're in an entirely hostile district. Yeah, because they had all those guns and all those guys in there. So remember the rules of engagement. No one fires unless fired upon. Good luck, gentlemen. Oh my God. So stressed out. Those Spectre gunships, daylight instead of night. Late afternoon, they're all fucked up on cot. Only part of the city of D come out of serious counterattack on short notice. Circling above it at 500 feet, it's imperfect. Not on the street. It's unforgiving. I bet. Oh God, I love them. It's crazy once you get cast in like a certain type of role, you kind of are like stereotyped as that, but like he's perfect army guy, you know what I mean? Three o'clock, downtown. Car mark. Needs you to back me up out there today, all right? It's all on the grind, Sizemore. I mean, you're looking at the guy that believed the commercial about be all you can be. I made coffee through Desert Storm. 
while everyone else got to fight, got to be a ranger. Now it's Grimesy, black, one shoot. So bitter. <laughs> what happened to you? Ping pong accident. So guess what? Your wish has been granted. You're going out today. You're fucking me. Sergeant Eversman said to get your stuff and get ready. That's what you wanted, isn't it? <gasps> Hell yeah. <gasps> is he scared? Don't worry about it. Just watch out for the Sammy Stone of fucking rocks and you'll be fine. All we gotta do is cover them. Chopper's gonna cover us and we'll be all right. I know this is my first time as truck leader, but uh, this isn't our first time out together. This is serious. We're Rangers. Not some sorry ass JROTC. We're elite. I don't know what that means. Not as well trained or good. I don't know. We're gonna be okay. Foreshadow. Not gonna need that, dude. We're not out there long enough. <sighs> hey, you're not gonna need that either. We're back before dark. Ammo, dude. Take ammo. Oh, what's what's his nuts? So I just wanna call him Bane. <laughs> just remember when everybody else is shooting, shooting the same direction. <sighs> He's taping his blood type to his boots. That's bad luck. Yeah, smart. I actually think that's really smart. In case there's like an emergency, you need an emergency blood transfusion. Good thing you're right-handed, Adonis. God, I don't know what you do. <laughs> I'm not taking no death letter. I have a deal. Get you back in and out. I've been training my whole life. You ever shot at anybody before? No, sir. Me neither. These guys are so young. 2.29 p.m. Well, those guys are there, aren't they? We just saw them go in. JOC Joint Operations Center. Tell him to turn his damn radio off. Yes. I hope this guy's good. You don't think we should be here? Once that first bullet goes past your head, politics and all that shit just goes right out the window. <sighs> Get all your men back here alive. Abdi, can you hear me? Is this the place? To my right hand side above the cafe. Are you sure? Just to me, militia. The building's actually a couple blocks down. Seen outside it, you'll be shot. I'm fucking shooting myself. He's not getting paid till he does exactly that. I was gonna ask if he, they're paying this guy. We wait until extraction of prisoners is complete here. Home in an hour. Now there will be some shooting. The car market is the Wild West. Careful what you shoot at because people do live there. Are you sure this time? He sounds scared shitless. Good. That's always a good sign. Oh, so was that the guy that was praying that had the gun at the sunset? That's it. That's our signal. <gasps> All units, Irene. <sighs> Fucking Irene! Godspeed. Let's go, boys. No one gets left behind. Just never done that before. Some beautiful cinematography. Uh-oh. Oh. Yeah, okay, so they have all these people giving warnings. It's like telephone. Damn it, so they are gonna know. They're gonna know they're coming. Shit. They have their systems. I mean, I need to take deep breaths. Two minutes. Oh, goosebumps. I've done a really good job here with the sound editing. Are they lighting everything on fire here? Oh, did they burn to create a, a really hard area to fly through? Signals to the militia that we're coming. Okay. One minute. Last wolf, I almost bit my tongue off. Three forty-two p.m. Touchdown. Okay, rules of engagement: only shoot if shot at. Honestly, helicopter pilots are insane beings. They're so amazing at flying these things. Go! Go! Shock two deployed. Oh, that shot was crazy. Oh, oh shit. YG, no fear! Oh yeah, right! <sighs> shooting at us! We'll shoot back! pattern to provide sniper cover. Over. They have little bazookas. OPG! Hold on! Oh my god, he dodged it! <gasps> oh my god, grab the rope! He can't! Oh, sh oh! 
No one's left behind. Blackburn? Is that Orlando Bloom's guy? Oh my god. Stop! Man, got a man hit! He's not! He fell! Well, right on his back. A hiss means it's close! A snap! There, oh, there you go. Oh my god. Blackburn, can you hear me? I'm trying to say, like, can you get to cover? But it'd probably be so hard to move him because you don't know what his injury is. Take a breath, two five, and calm down. Man, go! It's a long way to the Humvees! Up to the Humvees now! Everybody up! Let's go! So these guys are all their prisoners. Sniper cover for prisoner extract. You got him. I don't know what a deed looks like, but... Is, I don't think he's in there. Those just look like civilians. Or were those two guys that they had in the picture, the ones, were they in that group? He fell, missed the rope. How'd he do that? Put him in that Humvee. Well, didn't they get shot at and the helicopter dodged it? Right! Come on! Shit. Fuck this! Hey, you wanted to go into battle. Did he get shot? Did one of the cartridges fall on him? Bad. I need to evac now. Roger that, uniform 6-4. I'll take my team, make sure they get back, okay? Stooker, your lead humpy. Oh. Wow, that trunk was really cool. Sergeant Pillis, hey! What's his status? He's dead. We have a KIA dominant pillar. Over. Killed in action. Someone get on that 50! Come on! So brave. This is the guy from earlier. Can you try to shoot at them? Shit. Come on, buddy, you gonna land this thing all right? One going down. One going down. What, are you, like, what are you supposed to do? Oh, shit. Oh, it's actually better than I thought they were gonna land. Are they still alive? We got a Black Hawk down. We got a Black Hawk down. down. Get an MH6 on site, check for survivors. I want ground forces to move and secure a new perimeter around that crash site. Oh my god. Honestly, I can't breathe. This is probably why I don't watch war movies. We just lost the initiative. <sighs> Check for survivors, secure the area, all of the charts will follow, over. Are they losing their radios? Not gonna take half an hour. We're gonna hold this corner, the next bill with the Humvees. Galatine Schmidt, coming with me. Come on, I gotta stay back here. Because they're dependable. <sighs> Ain't being dependable, man. They need you, buddy. Oh. oh. All right, all right, I'm gonna go to the crash. Negative. We're gonna proceed to the crash site together. Roger that. Call him Ali. Oh, you receiving me? Yeah, I heard you. You should be leaving, so. Frickin' Roger that and let's go. Yankees go home. Stay away from the walls. That's why you stay away from the walls. Probably. The convoy's leaving! I think they've forgotten us! <sighs> They're not gonna leave these guys here. A lot of people closing in. How far is Chalk 4 from the crash site? Six blocks, sir. We need to haul ass. Yeah. They need to haul ass. <laughs> These freaking RPGs are just killing me right now. Go, ah, don't go back! Cover him, cover him. Oh my god. Goes back for his freaking gun. <sighs> it's just so stressful because there are so many doors, windows, rooftops, and it just like, oh, f you just don't know where anyone's gonna pop out of. So many people are coming. He's all alone. Just look at these poor little children. And then these children. Oh 
That would be so terrifying. Oh, stop. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That is father. We can't go down! We're thinking of the enemy fire! ETA base momentarily. Did they actually forget about those two guys that were left there on the ground? Blackburn, I really hope he's okay. This poor guy, Pilla, man. This guy gonna go back out there? It's equally as sad for the people on the other side in Smalio. Guy is one tough mother. Went down in the chopper and is still kicking ass. Two pilots are dead. Two crew chiefs are wounded. Oh, the pilots died. Are they sure? I mean, those cars that they have are pretty cool. Not condoning war, everyone. It just, it's a pretty cool rig. Take the southeast corner. We're setting up a perimeter. Over. Move out. We need a medevac over here now! You're telling me it's too hot to land the bird to come- God, it's just raining down. They just keep taking bullets, man. <laughs> Shit, one of the prisoners got shot. No! You need to set the perimeter so we can load the wounded! I was like, why is the music stopping? Fire your weapon! He's taking home somebody's hand. Oh my girls. Yeah, okay. Oh my god, that is so horrific. They're getting destroyed here, man. They literally don't leave anybody behind. So many casualties on each side of this. These guys just still hunkering down. Homies ain't coming back, dude. I thought they were supposed to come to us. Shit. Let's go to the crash scene. Get out! What did I just tell you? He told you to get down. You all right? What? Yeah, you can hardly hear. How do you hear people coming? I guess you see them first. <laughs> they better not shoot another RPG at this other chopper. I'm gonna be pissed. Look up. No. We've been hit. Get out of there. Go, go, go. I've got skinnies with RPGs at 12 o'clock. Both pilots are dead. We can't move these guys, Manny. Stabilize in here. Roger. Understood, Wookie. We got you covered over. Like he got clipped pretty yeah. good. Yeah, no, we're good. They're going down. We're going down. Oh, buddies. We got another bird down. I want them out of How far apart are they now with these crash sites to get everybody out? We're moving just as fast as we can. You let me do my job and you do yours. Please <laughs> stay down. Grenade. What a throw, man. Come on, guys, stay together as a team. You have got to keep up, sir! Don't you ever give me orders, Sergeant. We are combat ineffective, you understand me? We got too many damn wounded to move. Now give me some of your shooters and I'll circle this to the bird. Yeah, they went down hard. Is he alive? Oh my god, he's alive. Volunteer to secure crash site too. Negative that request. Can't risk another bird. Oh, we don't even know if anyone's alive. We're going back in to get them. Yeah, yeah, this is, they're in the base. They're going back in. They're going to save them. Sizemore, where the hell do you think you're going? For you guys. Not that cast on your nuts. Hero, buddy. Can't go back up there. Everyone feels the same way you do. What you do right now that makes a difference. Oh, fuck, man. It's called rallying the troops. it will probably have to wash a blood out of the Humvees. Let me go, sword! You got some ammo! Love that sword! Hop in! He's staying? He's going! Everything scares the shit out of me in these. I really like this crew of two. They're... Oh, so they're close. Please don't shoot at each other. No! No, this is the guy that was alone! Jurek! Fucking Stop shooting at me, god damn it! We almost fucking killed you! Well, come to us! Fuck you, come to me! Is it safe? God, look around. And you put not, right? No, because you said, not gonna need that, dude. We'll be back in a half hour. Let's move out. 
being lost, man. Totally suck. They're all spread out. Eversman's Chalk 4 has set up a perimeter. About 40 men, Rangers, are here. They're banged up pretty bad. But they don't know about these other three guys. Those guys are gonna f***ing save the day, man. Small Delta team are moving from Steele's position to the crash site as we speak. They are gonna need night vision if they're gonna be out here any longer. Literally the only word I say in mob movies and in war movies is shit because I'm just so stressed out all the time. Shit, they're reloading. RPG! RPGs! I can hear bells ringing! Yeah, man. Jesus. <laughs> the sound and what that would do to your eardrums would just be crazy. Where they are, they can see things clearer than any of us. They know what they're asking. Mm. We're asking to go in and set up a perimeter until ground support arrives. Take quite a while. You still want to go in there? Yes, sir. Badass men. <gasps> the dog! Exactly. <laughs> No, he just fell out of the car. There's a fucking rocket in him, sir. Oh, a bitch. The makeup and special effects and everything that they have done is absolutely amazing. It is just absolutely horrific. They've done such an outstanding job in this movie. Turn around and head back to Hollywood. Gruesome, so realistic. Shit, me. We just came through there. Turn around and head back. These poor guys, man. Keep your foot on the gas! Oh my god, his poor face is... What the f is happening? God damn it. They have the crash light. Oh, this poor guy, man. Alone. I hope those other guys can come and help out. Stay alive, buddy. Stay alive. C2, Chenard and Gordner on the deck. This mission has gone to shit. Come on, buddy. Oh no, he's just getting totally attacked. Oh my god. <laughs> These guys. These guys came. Good to see you. Uh, it's good to see you. Hey, where's the rescue squad? We're it. We're it. Yeah, you watch their backs, man. <laughs> Oh, his face and like the glass and everything that got into his eyes. Got many wounded, including me. Your both your faces are shot to shit, man. Can you get to the crash site? Clearly not. This is shit. Oh my god. Negative. The amount of wounded we have, we do more harm than good. If you come back to base, rearm and regroup, and then we can go back out. That, I feel like that is a good call. Get him out of there. They have to get them out. We're going home! Oh man, oh, oh, all the stray dogs. Stay out of the way, little pups. 4.54 p.m. Roger that, understand, convoy returning to base. <clears throat> yeah, I would obviously also be pissed, but like, they were getting destroyed, man. Colonel McKnight went back to base and he, he had a good reason. We're gonna hold the strong point. Hua? <laughs> Serve your ammo. Yeah. Only shoot at what you can hit. Mm. The convoy's gonna come. They're gonna come for you. Don't you guys worry. Bring it home. Yeah, it's gonna be a tough night. Rosie, last five! Corey! Good luck. Just freaking lost Jamie Lannister. We have stirred up the hornet's nest here, out of the hostile area and back to the Pakistani stadium in the safe zone. This guy's just sweating bullets because everyone's getting killed. Ah! No. They're trying to protect themselves. This guy's all alone now and he's injured his leg. Oh my God. I don't know what he said. Is he taking him as a prisoner of war? Oh, tough mother. Her man. Request permission to move to crash site number two on foot. Over. <gasps> Green light. 5.50 p.m. Yeah, nighttime is upon them. After I'm finished with this, I'll whip you boys up some margaritas. The usual. Gotta have humor. Do not fire to the east. We are coming to you. Oh. And watch out for skinnies. They're all over the rooftop. They're in prayer, but not for much longer. Oh. Is that why everything's kind of quieted down for a little bit? 
I mean, tripping is just natural. I'm freaking clumsy. I'd probably trip. I got, I got Nelson and Twombly with me. We got the chopper in sight. Corner, where the hell have you been? Are you okay? Yeah. You're gonna turn around. You are gonna cover me. This is intense. Don't forget. What? Don't forget. I mean, I'm not laughing at the situation. I'm just laughing at the situation because they're funny. God damn it. No, 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 no. Did he hit a grenade that was on him or something? Don't need more wounded. Yeah, they are all over the rooftops. Oh God, he's bleeding bad. Oh, balls need... <laughs> I was a bit worried that he got shot in the balls. That's like a shot in the main artery there. Oh, 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 Still in the fight. He doesn't get to the hospital in a half hour. He's in trouble. But what are they going to do? You can't risk it. It's still too hot. Dose, he cannot risk another bird. Come on, guys. Pressure on that wound. Pressure on that wound, buddy. Alec Esquilo Wakega. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, so they think they do that on purpose, right? How long? At least a couple hours. A couple hours? Are you kidding? It's gonna take some time to mobilize a 10th mount and 100 vehicles. <sighs> well, it takes time, man. It is imperative that we move them out of the hostile area and into the safe zone. Mikel Durant. He did take him. He did freaking take him. I'm not a ranger, I'm a pilot. He was badly freaking injured. You all live long, dull, and interesting lives. The government will never negotiate for me. You have the power to kill, but not negotiate. In Somalia, killing is negotiation. Do you really think if you get General Adid, you will simply put down our weapons and adopt American democracy? Without victory, there can be no peace. This is how things are in our world. I hope he heard that. It's the femoral artery. Which means that I have to find it and clamp it. I'm gonna need you to assist. Oh, that's gonna be disgusting. I gotta cause you more pain, but I have to do it to help you. On my count. Mm. You got this, buddy. <laughs> I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it, you got it, yeah. yeah. Clamp. No. Doc, it's it's going it's going Hold back it. in. It's Hold scary. it! Okay, get out, get out. <gasps> oh, he almost get he almost yacked. What? Did he do it? <sighs> Did he not get it? Did he not get it? I thought he got it. Oh, he's making coffee, cowboy coffee. I think I missed what happened with that guy. Oh man. Sit down. I'm gonna take a look at that foot. Where the hell did they find you? Behind a desk. <laughs> Don't you think I'm kidding? Now only a couple guys have night vision. Honestly, night vision is probably one of the coolest things ever invented. Oh, they're going quiet. Stealth mode. Oh, fa. They're gonna blow this up now. Yeah, get rid of it. These guys! Kilo 1-1. One, one. If we don't hold back this city, we're gonna have 100 caskets to fill by morning. Please not lose any more people. He's going back in. You guys do not have to go back out again. So much respect, man. He's going back. 11.23 p.m. I'm sorry. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm okay, Jamie. Can you tell my parents that I fought well today? That I fought hard? Oh, yeah. The Humvees here? I really want this guy to live. You just gotta hang in there a little bit. I can't. It's nothing. It's nothing. Oh, fuck. He's gone. He's 
so hard to not be able to save them, you know? <laughs> you tried hard, guys. You really tried hard to save them. You did all you could here. You should have sent a medic. All right, now we'll be out there defending another crash chopper. More men will get torn up. You're thinking. Don't. It's just war. Well, Smith's still dead. We'll get plenty of time to think about all that later. Believe me. Well, ain't that the truth. You did it right today. I need to start thinking about getting these men out of here. Yeah, gotta get them out now. The mentality you have to have when you're in, in war. He's not wrong. This is 205! I can see you! You're right above me! I'm putting it on the roof! You're gonna need some help! Oh, it's so hard for people in the helicopters to see stuff. Even in like search and rescue situations. I got your position, I got the target. We're inbound hot. Raining fire. Wow, we'll be in trouble location in about five minutes. 2.05 a.m. Convoy has arrived. Bring your wounded right over there and start loading them up. Extracting everybody, but what about Durant? Who's gonna stay for him? We'll walk you out of the hot zone. Then we'll jump on the last few vehicles. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Dismantling the entire cockpit around the body. Things are gonna take an honest, no shit assessment. I can't say. Get all of his gear. Get the wounded on. Five forty-five a.m. Monday, October fourth. But what about Durant? Are they gonna have to go back in if they're leaving without him? Burn the hole. There goes, there goes the bird. We're running out. Keep moving. Use the vehicles as cover. Hold up. Uh oh. Literally no rest in war. You gotta look alive like a god. Get down! Get down! Don't you do it! Oh, she can't pick up the gun. Must be so exhausted, in shock, and just running on adrenaline. They're pissed. They don't want them there. Oh, the children. <laughs> that scene was really heavy. These soldiers. Have water for them. Probably the best sip of water you've ever had. <sighs> Those two. Ah, shit. Yeah. <sighs> He's trying to clean up all the blood shed and spill. Ruiz, we're going after him? You bet your ass we will. Don't go back out there without me. Get some rest now. Wow. This guy's lives are forever changed, man. You're going back in? There's still men out there. People ask me, why do you do it, man? I want to understand why we do it. It's about the men next to you. Yeah, your brothers. That's all it is. Don't even think about it, all right? I'm better on my own. I was talking to Blackburn the other day, and what changed? Why are we going home? And I said nothing. That's not true, you know? I think everything's changed. I know I've changed. I was gonna say. Why are you going to fight somebody else's war? What do y'all think, you're heroes? There's nobody asks to be a hero. It just sometimes turns out that way. I'm gonna talk to your mom and pop when I get home, okay? During the raid, over 1,000 Somalis died and 19 American soldiers lost their lives. Delta Sergeants Gary Gordon and Randy Shughart were the first soldiers to receive the Medal of Honor posthumously since the Vietnam War. Michael Durant was released after 11 days of captivity. Two weeks later, President Clinton withdrew Delta Force and the Rangers 
from Somalia. Major General William F. Garrison accepted full responsibility for the outcome of the raid. On August 2nd, 1996, warlord Mohammed Fariadid was killed in Mogadishu. The following day, General Garrison retired. Oh shit. Directed by Ridley Scott. I didn't know Ridley Scott did that movie. I literally love nothing more than not looking up anything about a movie and then watching it and then watching the end credits and then seeing Ridley Scott. He's so amazing. I love the Scott family. I mean, it's obviously very an Americanized story and we get more of the American point of view than everything that else that was going on because the tragedy on each side with the Somalians and America is it is sad on each side because people are fighting for what they believe in but I would like to talk more about the movie and like this cinematic experience that is something that I like to talk about more so than all the political aspects of it because I don't have all the answers to it I think that that is an unforgettable movie that movie was definitely a visceral experience I was so stressed out the whole time it was definitely very gritty and it it was so stress inducing and I love when a film does that to you when it makes you feel um, like you're there and you're in it and you're like I felt like I was one of the soldiers like in war in battle I can see the different viewpoints that soldiers have and peoples have on each side and it's very complicated but honestly the resilience that those soldiers had in that adversity in that shit storm was unbelievable and absolutely inspiring. I thought the acting was amazing. So many famous actors are in this. I do love the camaraderie that these men have. I think it is absolutely amazing to see them and how they literally band together and they are there for one another and to not leave anyone behind. Yeah, I thought this movie was so intense. I was so stressed out. The makeup and the special effects were on point. Like, I know it's hard, I know it's weird to say that, but you know, I'm a makeup artist and just seeing that stuff and what the prosthetics and everything that they built, you're just like, oh man, that's horrible. War is awful. It is insane, like what it does. <sighs> I thought the way Ridley Scott captured a lot of the deaths and the emergency responses, with the medics and stuff. Yeah, you you feel like you're there, and it's just hor absolutely horrifying and so scary and so tragic. I really like the aspect of like boots on the ground and like how people were in there on battlegrounds and just all like this special ops and all that how all the teams work i like that it showed that like a lot of these men were actually terrified like i think that is so true like no matter how brave you are how much courage you build up like it is still absolutely terrifying and you just you have to hold your shit together and you have to stay strong and you just got to stay focused to get through it it is amazing just what people and these men can do to fight in the face of like all odds and and just and just go into it it's wild the courage that these men have in the face of fear is basically like what this movie is about i was obviously rooting for them because you know that's the point of view of this movie and you know you don't want to lose anyone and i'm so naive <laughs> i'm just i'm like no he can't die but i I just thought the way that Ridley Scott made this movie was he did a good job making you feel all of that and feeling like you were there. I think everybody on my Patreon, they wanted to watch me in agony because <laughs> that was so stressful. That movie was intense. And thanks guys. Thank you for the two and a half hours of pure, utter stress anxiety and agony thank you everybody for watching with me i totally appreciate you being here if you love movies don't forget to hit the subscribe hit the like and see you guys in the next reaction video ciao